the city's last public pay phone yanked from the ground at the corner of 49th Street and 7th Avenue. And what a beautiful day to be here to celebrate the end of what used to be the primary lifeline service for many New Yorkers. In a world where cell phones own our eyes and ears, it's kind of inevitable. Now everybody's on their cell phones and we hear the whole personal life. But Lynn Winderbaum remembers the time she found 38 grand stuffed in an envelope in a phone booth back in the 60s. Try that with the latest smartphone. I was a little scared to like pick it up, I did, but I, I ended up bringing it to, into the Bloomingdale Security Department across the street. And that was, that was it. That was the end of that. This ceremony ends a several year process to remove the phones. They started to remove them back in 2015, and now we move to Wi Fi. The City Link kiosks the future free power, internet, and calls, expanding service across the five boroughs. The last 6,000 public pay phones removed in recent years, a memory for some. We used to press zero and then call the operator and say we lost a quarter and then got them to call our parents. And for 14-year-old Bria, not even a memory at all. Have you ever used a public pay phone in your life? No. Not at all. Do you know what they are? Uh, I think so. <laughs> a nod to nostalgia, now officially disconnected. In Midtown, Gus Rosendale, News 4 New York. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.